Hello! It is Friday. I hope you have an excellent day. I'm so glad you're here. God bless our subscribers. Give them perfect health and perfect wealth. Keep them free from all fears, worries, concerns, anxieties. Send your archangels and your angels to guard, guide, and protect them. I love them so. Join my energy, Taurus, and I see your cross watchers. They are here, and I am very happy that they are. You are very welcome, of course. Let's get this on the get this show on the road. Messages already, you guys. Yes, please and thank you. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. Surrender to the divine. Now how gorgeous that is. We're constantly learning about ourselves. We're constantly in flux, in change. Surrendering those things that keep us, oh, you know, held back. It's a, um, it's a test of faith. Surrender to the divine. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Another full moon. Gemini is the beautiful lover's card. So we're going to go into this. Okay, let me get organized here because, like I said, I'm getting messages already. Here. Okay, thank you. Energy cards. Thank you. Wow, lots of energy going on here. Energy cards. Thank you. One more. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you very much. Here we go. Envy. Okay, this is the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords that we have seen in your readings once in a while. There is someone here with a lateral energy. I put, I'm going to put it just like it came out here on the side. Goddess of the Moon, Piscean energy. And look at we have two full moons and the Goddess of the Moon. Venus energy. Piscean energy as well, and the Christ, healer of the ages. You are very welcomed here. Thank you. Where now? Okay. Try this. For Taurus, please. If you're looking for shorter readings, look at the 6 a.m. slot because I'm giving you every morning a Celtic cross reading. See if you guys enjoy that. Let me know so I will continue doing it. I'm here to serve. Taurus energy. Thank you. Wow. Taurus, what say you? Perfect timing. Uh, this is the right time for you to move forward. Perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. How lovely is that? Another one, please. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Patience, please. Perfect timing. I'll take one more. Ah, healing, healed, healer. Healing energy surrounds you and this situation. So for those of you who have had some health issues, please, I'm sending you healer of the ages, healing, healed, healer. So confirmation right there for you. Sending you so much good energy. I love you guys so much. Let me know if you want me to include you in my thoughts and prayers. Let me know how. And um, I'm happy to do that for you. Taurus energy. Taurus energy, please and thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, Taurus, come through with this energy. 
its Queen of Cups, this time in the upright. Emotional balance. We are receiving this gift. Emotional balance. Emotion, the embodiment of calm to the beautiful Ace of Cups. Another cup. The water of water and then water overflowing. Love overflowing. Ace of Cups. Oh, nice. Our water energies. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we have the Piscean energy of uh, Goddess of the Moon to the strength card in the upright now thank you leo energy to the empress right underneath the queen of cups the water of water in the middle of your reading we have victory six of wands super couple the realization of we are victorious to the cancerian energy of the chariot willpower willpower and strength that is a dynamic duo to the town crier, Page of Wands has something to say. Knows they look good and they want to share their good news with you. Interesting. To the Queen of Pentacles, the hostess with the mostess. She is making sure everyone has a place at the table and they feel welcomed in the home. But she is a dro no drama mama. No drama in the house, please. To the beautiful Six of Cups. You know, I, this is one of my favorite cards. Look at how this is innocence. This is soul recognition at a cellular level. The two of you are two peas in a pod. You finish each other's sentences. You have been each, with each other before, either as earlier in your life um, or from a different lifetime, another lifetime, and you just recognize each other. Perhaps you've been through several lifetimes with each other. The energy... The card that frames the energy of this entire reading is the star card, Aquarian energy, the card of also healing. So we have a theme going on here, healing. Okay, we're going to clarifications, please. Clarifications. Clarification for Taurus. Thank you. We're clarifying the Queen of Cups with Five of Wands. Okay, so it's the best of times is the worst of times. Someone craves emotional balance, calm, and yet in their mind there's still a little bit of chaos. I'm thinking of the Six of Swords in the Celtic cross reading earlier. Um, Going from the very chaos to the very sublime. Right. Okay, so this is the journey. And sometimes it may seem to you two steps forward, one step back. You're going to be all right, though. We have the three of wands here. Again, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The anticipation. And five of pentacles, but look at in reverse. In the upright, you see um, two people who are in um, a, an emotional struggle, an emotional um, feeling of not being invited, of being left out. Reverse that, meaning I know that I am on this person's mind. I know that I am going to take part in this beautiful table. This is, so, okay, um, the strength of the Queen of Cups, emotional balance, calm, two, five of wands, um, feeling a little strife, feeling some chaos, but look at, no blood, no broken bones. It's just someone being up in their head with worry to now I have, I know I have all right and reason to anticipate a change, something good coming, and I no longer feel left out. I feel included, and I sense this great cup of love overflowing and if you doubt it here she is again so she wins she wins she comes up twice emotional balance calm the embodiment of stepping into your power seven of wands again in reverse now though not feeling defensive any longer i no longer feel defensive I've seen life from a different perspective. I've learned more. I've, I've calmed myself. 
I've allowed myself to get accustomed to seeing life from a different viewpoint. See, the hangman, they don't struggle. If you look closely, it almost looks like they have a smile on their, their lips. To manifestation, the magician. And how beautiful is that? Using every resource at your disposal. As above, so below. I would love to see the Nine of Pentacles here too. But we have strength, which is beautiful. Leo energy. Sometimes you feel off balance, but you don't fall. Yeah. And Nine of Swords, but look at in reverse. I used to have sleepless nights. I don't anymore. I've come to believe in us. I've come to believe in myself. The devil, Capricorn energy. There was some time that... I don't know if, yeah, you can fall over. <laughs> There's some time that um, there was some obsession. There was a bit of obsession. I'm not sure what to do with these strong feelings. And it could be that these feelings, um, it was almost like you were being overrun with these feelings. But you're going to take that leap of faith. Yep, it's resolved. All of your worries, everything that you have been through, you are now seeing a resolution. And how good is this? It's a beautiful resolution. Here's the caveat, if you will allow it to be. We have the Empress here. Fertile grounds, possibilities are endless. Are you going to take advantage of it? You've seen, okay, get hang in again. You've seen what it feels like to not have options. To not have the possibility of um, your wishes, your love, Venus and the Venus signs here. And now you're relaxing into the knowledge that everything's going to work out well. <sighs> Page of Pentacles, the beginning of the beginning, Earth of Earth. So pages are Earth, Earth energy, and Pentacles, Earth. So Earth of Earth, the beginnings, a new. Um, especially with the Empress here, it's like the page is going to plant a field. That it's like a seed. Um, um, I'm going to create our own something, fill in the blank, our own company, our own family. It's it's like ownership, though. It's But it's not obsessive ownership, right? It's a new journey. It's a new journey. And... Uh, from the Page of Pentacles to the Page of Swords, Earth of Air. So with these pages, I want to tell you something. The feeling could be so new to you that you feel like a kid again. You feel youthful. You feel like a child. It's like puppy love. So it's a new way of looking at love without feeling pressure or torn it's, you know, torn away from anything that you want to do. It's just calm. It's a, it, but here it is, you're not really used to that. This is, this is a new experience for you. You're not used to that. You're used to chaos. You're used to things being, um, I feel left out, but that's, it's ending. It's a new you. You're looking at community recognition of victory. Use your instinct, use all of your intuition. The high priestess is here. The power of the moon. Look how the moon is here so frequently. Full moon. In Gemini, full moon here. And then goddess of the moon. And there's our high priestess. So look at the eclipse times and what's happening with the moon. See if you can correlate what's happening in your life emotionally psychologically in in the times of moon changes night of swords so nights are whew, wow that air energy so air of air someone's rushing in fools rush in where wise men fear to tread is that what it is where angels fear to tread. Someone wants to just jump the line, jump the queue, and go right towards that success. I want to jump the queue and go right towards that success. Not going through anything else. I just want to be with you now. 
I don't want to wait. I'm not anyone's victim. Nine of wands in reverse. Again, in reverse. Interesting. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Not feeling like anyone's victim. I just know what I want and I, I know what I don't want. I want from the nine of wands in reverse to the nine of cups upright. Wish fulfillment. Thank you very much. Going towards the chariot. When is it going to happen? Wish fulfillment with urgency, with willpower. Wish fulfillment to willpower. You see, why do we say it? The charioteer doesn't have any reins. Do you see that? It's only by the sheer willpower do these Sphinx even move. To the Ten of Pentacles. Talk about resources. Yeah, you're heading towards a time where your lack, feelings of lack are going to end. Whatever that lack may be. It, you know, Pentacles, you could say, yeah, it could be money. Or it could be lack of anything else. Fill in the blanks. And manifestation again. It's not for nothing. It's this willpower and manifestation of those things that you deserve. It's justice. It's it's true. And then we have air, air of air again. Airhead. Page of Swords. You might feel... Okay. This is a general reading. It won't be for everyone. But for... For some of you, it could be that many people in your past have manipulated the situation, made you feel certain ways. And this connection is not like that. This connection is honest. There's a lot of integrity here. Town crier with this love. With this love, <laughs> I the wed. So we're going from now, someone who wants to be protective and yet they feel, again, like a page, like this is a new love and they're protective of something so new. How wonderful. It's like protective of something like a baby. You're, you're cradling it. You're, you're making sure it's comfortable. <clears throat> Taurus, get out of my throat. <clears> throat. Throat chakra. Page of Wands, I have something to say. Knight of Cups, and I'm here I come with this cup of love to the Hierophant. Those things that we know, we know like we know well like we know. And the Hierophant is the one who gives voice to those very sacred embodiments to the King of Swords. Look at that. Standing in your truth. Standing in your truth in this authoritarian manner. You might feel as if, especially with this emotional calm, like you're missing something. How can that be? When you're used to a lot of chaos in your life and yet it becomes calm, you're thinking, what's going to happen? Where am, I, am I missing something? That's this feeling here. You're like, am I, too, um, am I thinking too much? and then missing out on some of the emotional uh, turmoil. How could it be that we miss even something like turmoil or, or emotional trauma? How could we miss that if, when it's not here? Like the Six of Swords going from chaos into the smooth. It's not that easy of a transition. It's good that you've had the hangman here twice because you're able to see the difference. You're able to see, well, when I experienced the turmoil, I wasn't happy, but it was my normal. It was what I'm used to. And now going into your power and then the Queen of Pentacles, this peace, the no drama mama, and then Ten of Cups. Thank you very much. Beautiful water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, this is the card everyone wants. This is the happy family. Whatever family means to you, happy home life. Let me just say it that way. And you're protected. See, it's almost like a shield of love surrounding you. Thank you. I was hoping to see the Nine of Pentacles. pre empress energy. The beautiful use of all resources available. And some people say, well, single is available. And I'm looking at this and feeling the use of proper, the proper use of resources. Thank you to the Eight of Pentacles. That's a great transition. 
So you're using your resources, you're fine tuning your craft, you're deep in the details, but remember this is a singular journey. There's no one there to, I don't wanna say help you, but there's one person that you can count on and it's the same person you've counted on all your life and that's you. So here's the question. When you finally do meet up with your soul mate, do you see how that works? Your the mate soul wise at a cellular level, your soul mate. When you finally meet up with them, are you going to allow this beautiful um, and unusual, unique engagement to occur? Or are you going to think I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop? King of Cups, be generous with your heart. It's almost like a life coach energy, like someone who's coaching you from the side. You can do it. Here's your heart. Your heart is well managed. It's encased in love. King of Cups, all things are possible. Love doesn't diminish the possibilities, right? It increases. It's fertile. And yet, here we are. That's the that's the energy I get once in a while. The Eight of Swords. Up in your head with worry about things that you don't have to worry about. Very much like the Five of Wands. Okay, so the Divine is asking you to let down this burden. And this is a common theme that I've seen in your readings in the last week, three times. The same Eight of Swords to the Ten of Wands in reverse. Let down that burden. You don't want to create your own, what is that, um, something of doom, uh, fear, of, fear of success, is that what it is? A prophecy of doom, fear of success. You don't want to have a mantra of, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Something bad is going to happen because I've, I've had so much luck lately, I'm waiting for something bad to happen. Don't let that be your mantra. Expect to have a place at the table. Expect community success, emotional balance and calm, and pregnant with possibilities because you guys are the lovers. That beautiful Gemini energy. You guys are the lovers. You can't get away from it. You don't want to get away from it, actually, because, and this is in the middle of your reading, Six of Wands, you can't, <laughs> I don't want you, is this your destiny? This is your destiny, like um, Wheel of Destiny. You can't escape it. It's part of what you're made up to do. Five of Pentacles. You see, you feel like you're being left out, but then it's the Ace of Swords. You're going to get that Eureka moment that all of this feeling of being left out was, I don't want to say just in your head, but that it, there's an open door for them to come through and, and be a part of the, the party and not just walk by it. No. Oh. Sorry, Hermit Energy, Virgo. Someone's understanding more about why they do what a they do. A great Virgo energy of the Hermit. And then, okay, finally. Okay. Let's, let me make this a storyboard for you. For anyone who's not familiar with tarot and the energy that the cards bring out, we see up here your realization that you don't have to feel Five of Pentacles. You don't have to feel left out of but yet it shows up again. So this is a recurring theme for you or, you know, generalized reading. It could be a feeling of, I sometimes I feel left out, but here we go with Ace of Swords, the aha moment. You're going to find out that when you go deep inside yourself and understand that five of wands in reverse, you don't have to be in chaos. You don't have to feel like that. It's a beautiful storyboard. Let's go further. Yeah, there he goes. If, if you want a confirmation, there's the Ace of Swords again. And then, yeah, the Empress, there's so many um, Taurus, 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 lines of Taurus. Your, your person either could be a Taurus or your, you have a strong line of Taurus. But um, that, that feeling comes very strongly. Don't forget, this is the card that informs the entire reading, the energy of a star card, Aquarian energy. Healing. 
Yeah, letting down that burden of worry, concern, because Leo energy, the sun is going to come out. And what a beautiful sun it is. Look at it. It is radiating warmth, love. And you see this, this, um, it's like a type of fabric. This is called the, the something of victory, like the banner, the banner of victory. How wonderful. And then, okay, double that. So that's confirmation. Confirmation that you're, you're going to succeed. It's going to be beautiful. It's a wonderful reading. Uh, let me grab you a, a couple of soulmate cards. Just to make sure we have any messages for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus. Okay, you want to jump out and we'll put you back. If you come out again, we know why. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Thank you. Messages for Taurus, please. Whenever I see flowers, I think of you. Okay, so flowers... Uh, ladybugs I hear, butterflies, and pennies from heaven. It's a, a confirmation that your, your love and my love are in sync. I have so much passion and desire for you, it drives me cray-cray. Passion and desire. Put it right by Ten of Cups. When I'm sad, I look at pictures of you, look at your pictures, and feel much better. That's beautiful. That's Six of Cups all day. Remembering, you are my lucky charm. Since I met you, I've manifested all sorts of things. That is our magician all day. I'll take one more and I'll let you guys go. I daydream of our future together. Trust and believe, Six of Wands. Oh man, you guys, how lovely. Okay, I will see you later, and I hope you're having a great day. Okay, bye-bye.